Did you know that butterfly wings are made up of little microscopic scales and those scales form all the beautiful colors and the patterns that you see on their wings. Monica designed this gorgeous papillona pattern for you inspired by those beautiful colors and patterns. This exquisite stockinette slip stitch pattern, which looks quite complex, but is actually very simple, mimics those microscopic scales. And just like butterfly wings, the colors are beautifully symmetrical. Also, it has fringe, which just adds that little bit of extra mwah. Yarn choice on this pattern is important. You're gonna need three contrasting shades of fingering weight yarn. In honor of this pattern, we have some beautiful sets for you in our Amal fingering yarn. Amal means hope, and it's meant to remind you that no matter how dark your circumstances, to always keep hope alive in your heart because you never know what joy and peace tomorrow may bring. This is a luscious alpaca linen silk blend yarn that we only bring around on rare occasions. The yarn has a lovely drape and a subtle sheen from the silk and all the colors are soft and heathered with beautiful little flecks of undyed linen. So to get started, you can download the pattern at expressionfiberarts.com and sign up for our email newsletter while you're there for We Freakly Knit and New... We Freakly... <laughs> And while you're there, sign up for our email newsletter for free weekly knit and crochet pattern. We're gonna go ahead and start with a seed stitch border. For your seed stitch border, we're gonna start with row one and color one. And you're just gonna start with a knit, and then purl, knit, purl, and you're gonna continue repeating that all the way down your row. Knit, purl, and I only have 27 stitches today. I'm just starting with a small amount so I can show you the stitch pattern. You will have a lot more stitches, of course. So continue repeating all the way down to the end and finish off with a knit stitch at the end. Now when you're starting the next row, so same thing, knit, purl, knit, purl. What if you lay your work down mid row and you come back, how do you know which stitch comes next? So in seed stitch, when you see a little purl bump on the next stitch, you knit that. And if you see a little V stitch like this, you purl it. So knit the little purl bumps and purl the little V's. So you should be all good to continue across your row. And there's row two. For rows two through 10, just repeat row one until you have 10 rows total of seed stitch. And now for that gorgeous stockinette slip stitch section, which forms that amazing design. Now you're gonna pick up your second color and we're just gonna start knitting with it. So we're gonna work our seed stitch border on the side. So let's just start with a knit purl, and we're going to do that three times. Knit, purl, knit, and purl, and then one more knit. And you don't have to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and place a stitch marker just to denote that this is my border. Makes it a little easier as you go. Now for the center part, you're going to do a knit three, two, three, and you're going to slip one, knit five. So slip purl wise like so with needle points together. Knit the next five stitches, two, three, four, five, and you're gonna continue repeating that down. Slip one, knit five, until you have 11 stitches left. Then you're gonna slip one, knit three, two, three. I'm gonna go ahead and place another stitch marker for my border. Again, that's totally up to you if you wanna do that. And finish off your little seed stitch border with knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit, purl, and knit. For row two, we're still using color number two, and we're gonna work our seed stitch border on the side with a knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, and knit. Go ahead and slip your stitch marker if you're using one. Bring your yarn to the front and you're gonna purl three. One, two, three, keeping your yarn to the front, you're gonna slip one and purl five. One, two, three, four, and five. five. And you're gonna continue repeating that across to the last 11 stitches. When you have 11 stitches left, you're gonna slip that next stitch and purl three, two, three. Slip your stitch marker if you're using those for your borders and finish with your seed stitch border on this side, which is knit purl knit purl, knit purl, and knit. And I'm gonna tighten that up a little bit. 
And rows three and four are just the same as rows one and two. So for rows three and four, just make sure you give your yarns a little twist so that you're carrying color one up the side with you as you continue to use color two. Row five, we're gonna drop that color and go ahead and pick up color number one again. And we're gonna work our seed stitch border the same way that we have been with a knit, a purl, a knit, a purl, knit, purl, and knit. Go ahead and slip your stitch marker if you're using those. And then you're just gonna knit across all the way to your other stitch marker or to the last seven stitches, which are your border stitches. So a nice and easy row. Just knit the slip stitches, knit the other stitches. Go ahead and slip your stitch marker if you're using one and finish your seed stitch border the same way that you have been with a knit a purl, a knit a purl, knit purl, and finally a knit. For row six, just repeat row five. For row seven, we're dropping color one and we're picking up color two again. And we're gonna work our seed stitch border. Knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, and knit. Slide your stitch marker. Now we're gonna do some more slip stitches. So slip one, knit five. One, two, three, four, five. And you're gonna continue repeating that across to your last eight stitches. Slip one, knit five. Two, three, four, five. Then you're gonna slip one, slip your stitch marker and work your border stitches. Knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, and knit. For row eight, continuing on with color two, work your seed stitch border. Knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl and knit, slide your stitch marker and bring your yarn to the front. Then you're gonna slip one and purl five. One, two, three, four, five. And you're gonna continue repeating that across your row. Slip one, purl five. Two, three, four, five. When you've repeated that all the way across, you're gonna slip one you can move your yarn to the back and slide your stitch marker and then finish off with knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, and knit. For rows nine and 10, just repeat row seven and eight. And then for rows 11 and 12, just repeat row five. So I've worked through row 12 and you can see how those slip stitches look absolutely gorgeous. And then those rows where you knit across here form the horizontal line. So it really does look like beautiful little shimmery scales. And the rest of the pattern is basically just repeats of those. So I hope that you enjoyed that and I hope that it was helpful. Do let us know what you think of this scrumptious new design and have a most splendid day. And I'm gonna see you next week with another new pattern. Ta-ta for now. Mm -hmm.